People love stories, and we love stories. So I'm like, okay, what would it have really been like to be Noah's wife? And say, are we really going to work a whole year on a boat and there's no rain? <laughs> at your age? Yes. I'm really amazed at Mrs. Noah, even though I don't know her name, and we wrote a story um, thinking about what she would have really been thinking. And then to stay in that boat with all those smelly animals. I mean, you know, really. It's, like 150 yeah. days. So that's just one of the couples that I think um, surprised me the more I read. The couples in the Bible were really real people. We see their flaws. The Bible does not cover up all of their problems. Or any, and the Bible lets us see them with all their raw edges. These couples were really flawed people. They were. They were people who did selfish things. They were people who hid from each other. They were people that disobeyed God. And there is re redemption mm. there. The people in the Bible did not do it right. They, they kept falling. You know, I'm thinking, yeah, there were some saints that we can look at, but there were a lot of scallywags. And those people are our ancestors. Those people are just like us. So it gives me hope. When I've done something that's really with a sinister attitude, God forgives me. And this is why this has been a transforming project. To, work, to look at couples and how God used them. Who would have guessed it would come from a dusty old book? But the old book is a new book. It's a transforming book. It's amazing. The scripture is alive. It's alive and it's transformational.